What's up, your fellow Trash News? It's your boy, the guy who needs to shave. But anyway, since October's over, that means there's no more uh, spooky reviews. At least, not anything special. Uh, so, I'm just gonna take it easy and do something that I can just shoot out of the trash can for you guys' pleasure spheres in your face. That means we're gonna review an action figure uh, because these are the easiest. I don't really have to remember anything. I have everything I need right here. So yeah, I checked. I haven't reviewed this guy yet, uh, which is weird because I had a fascination with the, what was it? The, the, like the original iteration of this figure. This is the Studio Series Dark of the Moon Megatron. There was an action figure of the Dark, Dark of the Moon Megatron like well before I started this channel. And this is sort of like the remake of it. Or like Studio Series is a update to it. I still want that one. Uh, this one is just a good holdover. And this is like the first time I've picked up this one in like almost a year, I think. Uh, let me just take off the, the gun. It pegs on me. Uh, right here, where the truck is. So yeah, gun. Uh, what was I saying? I already forgot. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I. This is the first time I've picked it up in almost a year, I think. Uh, and you know, I I remember it being sort of like, eh, it's all right. But now that I look at it and like I feel it again, right now with my more matured mind, I realized, yeah, this is good. A little, a little fidgety, hollow, but they went a new route for the transformation on like the other one. Uh, so yeah, it's different. It's something you must understand. You must appreciate the character at least in for order for you to have fun with it. So yeah, also, not sure what the status of this figure is, and like, this capitalist, capitalistic hellscape, um, I'm gonna go check it out and see if, uh, uh, so yeah, anyway. Alright, let's get into it. Here's the truck mode, it comes with one, it comes, techni technically it comes with three accessories. You got the gun, uh, you got the cloak, and you got the chains. Those are separate pieces to the actual figure itself. And I'm going to start off with the truck. Uh, I probably should have started with the robot mode because with, tra with uh, Transformers, I want to show off the transformation, how it starts in the box, so people have a better time understanding like me, I have a hard time with transformations at first, especially if the, uh, uh, the, the packets, the, the instructions aren't look good. And I go for a, to look for a video of it and everyone just reviews it reversed to how it is. Oh. Actually, I started. Uh, they review it reversed to how it actually is. Like, once you know how to do it, the way from in the box to, you know, uh, you can realistically go backwards without any of the instructions. They're just puzzles, basically. Except you can play with them. Like puzzles, those, those are like do yourself painting, you know. Anyway, uh, first off, uh, let me just. Take off the chains and the cloak. The chains are rubber. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah. The chains are rubber. Right. And you got the fabric, the cheap, the cheap fabric. I tried to do better. I couldn't. I don't have the right type of fabric for it, but so this is just gonna be. Uh, you got a hood. And you got a shoulder hole. All right, so you got the peg back in. It's not, it's not done yet. All right, so yeah, got the figure. It's a truck. It's 
with spikes. It's very long. It's very oblong. So yeah. Actually, if you hold it like this, it could be a weapon because this one's more blunt. So watch out. If you come to my house, they're going to use this against you. In Minecraft. I'm not sure what the state of fake threats are on YouTube because I, I see other people saying a, th a th threat and then they say in Minecraft after. I'm not sure what that deal is, but I'm just trying to be safe. Uh, so yeah, here you go. Alright, painting, it's not the best. They just basically just did a splash of golden brown bronze is that good bronze all right the wheels roll they got wheels not very good because you got bits and other shit that stop it from rolling and here let me use my arm yeah, that hurts. That hurts a little. No marks. So yeah. Let's see. Alright, transformation. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and keep it in camera. Alright. Oh, you notice no more pumpkins? You probably noticed that first thing, huh? Uh, I should probably say this now. Thank, thank you guys for your, like supporting me. If you're what, if you're like a continuous supporter of my channel, thank you. I really, uh, I really appreciate you guys, cause I don't really want to get a normal job. Hopefully, I can do this for most of my life. I'm not afraid of getting a job. I just kind of don't want to. Pretty sure that's everyone's deal. This is the weird part. This is the weird part about. See, you, you're kind of supposed to start here, so you have to pop up the, the chest, assemble it so now he has a chest, uh, and then you gotta pull out the arms. So you gotta fiddle them out, because they, they just like, clock in. Yeah. Alright, that's gone, you can actually flip the chest over from the arms, flip these panels, bam. Bam. And you got there's two panels right here. There we go. Now you got you got an arm that's finished now because you have to push the panel in like this. There's a it's a double hinge. Uh, so yeah, double hinge. Bam. So yeah, arm set. So let's get the the, 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 the upper body. Okie dokie. Also, if you guys remember, I said I'd posted, I'd post my Halloween costume on my socials. I did on my my YouTube, Twitter, and my Instagram. So check it out in the description below. Unless somehow you're not going to be early. This is because I'm gonna I'm gonna post this at 8:30, I think. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, there we go. You got the legs uh, almost done. Look at that. Look at those stompers. I'll destroy you. Alright. Sure, Megatron. You die after this anyway. This movie, I, I should specify. Oh, almost forgot to transform the truck fronts. They don't, they don't peg in, not really. So you just kind of have to fold them in. Also, just a warning. I'm not exactly, I'm not, you know, I'm not obviously showing you in detail. One, this is supposed to be for fun. And two, uh, this is supposed to be for fun. All right. All right, you got the legs done. I think, if I remember, you got folded. Here's how I do his knees, because the knees are, uh, you got chicken knees. Chicken knees. 
All right, so you fold the butt the most uh, all the way so it can't go anymore, and then you do one. Oh, that's not one. One, one, and I think if I remember, these are already all the way the top ones. Go one, two, three. Uh, you got knee pads that are just part of the joint. Come on. Don't look at the top of my head. Come on, here we go. All right, then you got the. Uh, here we go. One, two, three. All right, there we go. Then you got legs. Actually, forget the 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 one the the one one the first one. It makes him overly tall. All right, so here he is. Look at this boy. There we go. There's a shine over there. No, it's on my face. See? Look at him. Alright, so let's get the accessories. First the chain. You want it like this. So you want the double-sided one under his right armpit. So and then you got And you got pegs on the back piece. So you want to put the holes in the chain on the back piece. There you go. Adjust it a little so it looks flush. There you go. And you got the, the hood. Of course, you put... There's the bottom, you just whoosh. So you wanna put the, the biggest hole over his left shoulder. So yeah. Uh, I saw Theo, shout out to you. Uh, he puts it in the shoulder, like that. Uh, not, I don't really do that. I kind of flip flop when it comes to the appearance to this guy. So yeah, then you got the gun. Just put it on his hand. You can you you can put it on his back. There are, there is a peg and a hole for it. Doesn't fit well because it's a square, and this needs to be on there flat. But it protrudes too much. There we go. So, there you go. And that is the Dark of the Moon Studio Series Megatron. And I'm gonna take off the, these so it looks better. So yeah, that's what he looks like now, all right? I'm gonna look in the camera and see. Hope that that the YouTube thumbnail thing works right there. I don't really trust it that much. All right, here we go. All right, so yeah, that's basically it. I, I the chain stays on, of course. So yeah, articulation. Uh, like I said, paint is meh. Sculpting, of course, the sculpting's pretty good. And let's get into the articulation. The head is on a ball joint. I got big hands, huh? There you go. It goes up that far, goes down that far. That's basically what it looks like when he's facing forward. He can't look down on you unless he, he pulls the... What are you doing down there, small boy? I'm trying to conquer your world. So yeah. The, the shoulders, it's a swivel on a, on, a, on a hinge. So yeah, you can, can T-pose on you. That's also a good thumbnail. YouTube, come on, read my mind. All right, then you got a, a swivel hinge at the elbow. And you got a hinge at the wrist, which is super disappointing. 
as yeah. Nothing at the, no like diaphragm, no waist. All you have is hips, hinge swivel, and you got a hinge swivel at the knee, and at the the knee goal, uh, a knee ankle. Uh, you also have a hinge swivel, and then that's it. Uh, I mean, technically you have a toe pivot, but that's also for the transformation. So yeah, and that's it. Yeah, uh, so yeah, good figure. I, I recommend it if you like the Bayverse. I don't, uh, kinda. That's what got me into Transformers. That's why I have more of these than the G1s. Also, just remembered, I forgot to do size comparison. Here. Here. Uh, compared to these guys. It's not facing straight up. There we go. There he is compared to my Godzillas. They are 12 inches, so he's about more than 12. He's more than 12. So yeah, that was the Dark of the Moon Megatron uh, from Studio Series that was also made by Hasbro. So yeah, uh, if you like Bayverse or you like really cool depictions of Megatron, because no Megatron is the same. No, no one Megatron is the same. So yeah, that's that's about it. Uh, he's not going to stay here forever. That's not where he goes. He goes in my Transformers bin. Like the rest. So yeah. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you do next. Because uh, I'm always raring for new ideas. Uh, should I do another cooking video? Uh, maybe. So yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, that was about it. So yeah. Uh, so I don't really have anything else to say. Thank you. Thank you for so much for watching up until now, and I'll see you guys next Friday. See ya.